going to be? Yeah, tough. Every game's tough. You know, we played Everton. They were on a great run as well. And, um, you know, Brighton weren't. But that doesn't matter. Every every week's a challenge. Uh, obviously, a short turnaround for us. Um, hopefully, we might get Oliver Skip back, um, which is probably the only sort of fresh legs we'll have to to contribute to what we're doing. But, you know, good challenge for us. Um, but we're at home and, you know, whilst... <clears throat> we've had a couple of losses at home as well. You know, every home game we've been well in them, and um, you know we we will need to to be at our best to 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 um, you know match Bournemouth on Sunday. It's the last game of the year. Where do you think you are going into the year? And what do you feel you're going to do in the transfer window? We are where we are, and you know I think the transfer window. Look, nothing magical is going to happen in in a January window. Um, what we need to do is just keep building. We've had one window with this team to change it around, to do things differently. And um, like I said the fact that we're in the position we are is a credit to the players that, um, you know, through all the sort of challenges we've had, we just get playing forward and, that, and that's what we'll do. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do in January, but ultimately it's about building a side that will, will get us to where we want to. Uh, we're here on Hugo Lloris, maybe going to the USA. Can you confirm or do you have any thoughts on that? Oh, look, I'm, I'm not across that. Obviously, there's, there's stuff happening, but, um, you know, sort of being focused on the game, but I'm sure we'll hear something next couple of days. Tom? Uh, Ange, both yourself and Lodi Carriola, the news for the season, both improved and just started. Hey, how hard is that to do? Yeah, no, he's, he's done a great job, and, you know, they, they didn't have a great start, and it would have been very easy. Um, not just him, but the whole club to shy away from kind of what they were trying to <clears throat> build, but they've stuck at it, and you know the results recently have been, uh, you know, very very promising. So um, yeah, it's it, it's a credit to him and, and the football club. They've stuck to sort of what their uh, sort of plans been. <coughs> Yeah, fair to say it'll be different, yeah. Um, but, you know, I think that's kind of been our year so far. That's the, every week uh, we've had some challenges and um, there'll be more challenges for us on Sunday. But as I said, I, I think it's it, it's kind of easy for me to say, look, you know, don't make excuses for the... But the sheer effort of some of our players over the last sort of, I don't know, eight, nine weeks has been enormous and... Um, you know, I've, I've got to make sure that they're protected in terms of, you know, it's not through sh lack of effort that, that, you know, we're not sort of, um, you know, consistently playing the football we want to. It's just that, you know, we're asking it of too few and uh, it'll be a different challenge for us because, uh, like I said, Bournemouth <coughs> obviously in good form. They, they do play, um, you know, um, good football as well in terms of, good football, they play football in terms of they want to try and play and, and get the ball down, so um, it'll be a good challenge for us. And with every absentee, it gives an opportunity for somebody else. I think Kudasevsky's now suspended that card, so yeah, does that give the Salsa, who was on the part of the run, he's got back up to him, a chance to beat that against the spot? He dropped out of town because he was injured, you know, it wasn't by, by decision, so yeah, so he was going well, then he got injured and... Um, yeah, look, we're going to have to, like I said, we're, we're going to have to make another adjustment there. Um, I thought Gio, when he came on today, was, was good. I think he was good last week when he came on. Um, so, um, yeah, um, it's good to have him back fit and available. George, we'll finish with you, please. No, not really. Um, I don't think you need to go through injuries to, to, to see that. Um, you know, <coughs> what it has done is tested, <coughs> you know, the kind of limits of our ability to to play the football we want within the context of, you know, the, the injuries we've had. Because it'd be unfair to judge some players. I said that, <coughs> we, you know, the way we play takes a fairly hefty physical toll more than you know the way other clubs play and for us to kind of sustain and maintain that and be a team we need it it's no secret we need a strong squad and we're nowhere near that at the moment um, 
understandably so, like I said, we've had one window, so it was never going to happen. Um, so we're still at the beginnings. Within that context, we want to compete, you know, and, and we've got ourselves in a position where we can compete, and um, that's what we need to keep pushing forward for.